Hi guys, this is Isa from Printstick on our third video on how to edit and create your own digital planner using Keynote. Okay, so in the last video we changed all of the colors of all of these tabs, we added the text with a particular font that we wanted, and actually now that I opened my planner I realized that there's a couple of things that I did while I was showing you how to change the colors and I didn't realize and we need to fix this. So the first thing you can see is that there's this blue arrow here in the middle of the planner and as you can see it doesn't belong to any of the tabs so I must have accidentally added it while trying to get to some other shape so I need to get rid of that. This is a link that belongs to the white page that's the shape that it's linked to so I'm gonna click there and then just where it says link tap there remove link and the link is gone. If you ever find yourself that you added links accidentally, just know that that's the way you would remove it. And the way you would accidentally add it is, for example, if I tap on a shape and then trying to reach the white area to deselect, instead of making it there, I accidentally click on link. And then if I tap outside, I don't have to confirm that I wanted the link, so the link stays there. Just so you know, that's, this is probably what happens to me, so you know, just be cautious of that. But we're gonna review our page before we copy it and start pasting it in every single one of our spreads. We have to make sure that everything's perfect, that all of the links go to the correct sections, etc. We're gonna see that in future lessons. Another thing that I realized, I'm not entirely sure what happened here, but the background is a dark purple and in the original slide it's gray. I really don't know what happened here again. You probably saw it on the videos and I missed it, but I'm just gonna copy this background. So tap on it, click on copy, go to this other slide, tap out on the gray area, click on paste. And since this is the background, it can be all the way at the back, so I'm gonna go to my paintbrush here and then go to the arrange window and then just slide the slider all the way to the back. And as you can see, it went so far back that the previous background that we don't want is covering it, so just tap on that one and hit delete. Then we have the gray background that we want to keep. Alright, so sorry about those mistakes, but also I think it's good that I make them so that you get to see how to fix them and to pay attention to make sure that you don't leave something that you don't want in your planner. Alright, so now we get to the paper clips. So in this lesson you will learn how to change the colors which you pretty much already know how to do because that's what we've done in the past two lessons. However, in this particular case as well, you have something else which is a transparent shape so this has no color and no border this border that you see is just to allow your eyes to see where the shape is at but when you export it or when you click on play you will not be able to see that because it's transparent completely okay just so you know but you need to be able to see where the link is at that's why you have this like super faint gray border. Now I want to mention these clips are made of different shapes so this is one shape this is another shape and the clip is another shape and as you can see they are all within this rectangle frame so that means that they are grouped together if I tap elsewhere and then I move them it's a group so if I want to edit them inside the group I just double tap on either of the shapes and I can edit that single shape without interfering with the other shapes of that same group. I'm just gonna go back with my arrow. The next thing you need to know about this clip of course is that it had their link. So with the tabs, it's the tab itself that has the link. If I pull this, let me move the text away, if I pull the tab, as you can see the link comes with it, okay? The reason why these clips don't have the link on the shape itself is because they are a group and groups cannot have links. I mean, they can, but they will not work. When you export to PDF and you open in GoodNotes or Notability or any of the other note-taking app, you're gonna tap on the link and nothing's gonna happen because they are grouped and for some reason they do not work that way. So, instead of ungrouping this and having a ton of shapes piled together and being in a risk of moving one of the shapes accidentally, then I have just created another invisible shape to place on top and this is the shape that has the link. So just know that you have your group of shapes which is your paper clip and this link has to be on top of it always, okay? So really this clip is formed by a group of three shapes plus another ungrouped linked invisible shape. As I said before, if you want to change the color of these shapes you would 
first move the link out of the way because if I try to get to my shape I can't because the link is right there and the link is a shape itself so it's kind of confusing so just move it aside for now and then double tap on your shape and as you can see I can select the different shapes that create my clip so I want to change this green shape let's see I want a yellow maybe or kind of like an orangey yellow something like that let's see what it looks like all right that's yellow and then I want to change the back star so I just double tap until it's selected and let's see I'm really upset that you can't really see as you're choosing the color it's really uncomfortable but it's okay we can work around it so let's pick this pink and then this yellow I want to change it again so once that the group is selected if you just tap once on each of the shapes you will be able to select it because you're still working within the same group so let's go and do maybe a turquoise you know just play around with the colors until you're happy maybe you have some colors that you've always loved and it's gonna be easier for you to select those actually this blue doesn't look that bad so I'm gonna keep it I'm gonna keep the clip the same color but if you wanted to change it you can just go here and pick a black or a blue or any other color that you want but I'm gonna keep it gray okay when I'm done editing my clip I'm gonna grab my invisible star my invisible shape and place it right on top so that's how you change the colors of the clips but the last thing I want to talk to you about in this lesson is how to deal with the links so if I tap on the first clip the star clip as you can see it says that it links to slide 83 and then if you want to see what's in there get out of there tap on the left uh, side bar on your slides and then slide all the way down until you find number 83 and now you know that this is where the star links to so as a matter of fact you could for example add a text here that says star links here just for your own reference so you know that okay now I'm gonna go back to that page that we were modifying so all the way up and then I'm gonna check the second and the third links go to page 85 and page 84 and the reason why I'm mentioning this is because I want to only have one clip I do not want three clips on every page so I will start deleting all of these shapes I don't want them so just tap and click on delete and then you can reposition this link and make it bigger if you want I mean this clip and of course add its link as well right on top you can grow that as well and just remember that those were pages 84 and 85 that you no longer need okay so in this particular case yes you can delete them because you've already deleted the links that will come to these pages so you are safe to hit delete on the slide it's gonna ask you if you're sure because as it says some object is linking to this slide somewhere and I'll tell you before I delete what that is all these other pages that I have not updated to my design that I want to keep still have all these clips that if you tap there are linked to slide 84 and this link is no longer linked to anything the flower because I deleted that page so the link disappears okay so just like that you can kind of mess up any link all throughout your planner because as you can see these pages I didn't even touch but the link disappeared over there you know just be cautious about this really if you label your pages like I did here and you're absolutely sure that this goes to page 84 and I don't want this clip link into any page then I'm completely safe to go to page 84 click on delete and then accept and delete the page altogether all right so now when we go back here I only have one clip that links to one blank section all right so this was a short lesson we got a little bit into how the linking works we will talk about it in further lessons if you have any questions at all just drop me a comment and i'll get back to you as quick as i can don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and click on the bell next to the subscribe button so you get a notification when i upload my next video if you like what you saw please give this video a thumbs up to let me know thank you so much for watching and see you next time bye bye